Hello everybody. In this video, I will show you how to redefine the post method in a REST API in SAP and use it to consume a JSON payload. So in my former videos, I have already created or redefined a get method to use some URI parameters. And today we will redefine a post method. So we go back to the class set CL hello world rest resource, which we have created in a former video of mine. We click on post and on the button redefine. Then we have uh, the method redefined and now we are able to put some code here. So first I write data LV request body, a variable to get the request information, in our case, a JSON payload. So I write here mo request get entity, then get string data. And we want to convert this JSON payload to an ABAP structure. So we use the function slash ui2 slash cl JSON deserialized. And here we have an exporting parameter and changing parameter. Exporting JSON is LV request body. So this is my JSON string from outside. And then changing data is, now we need an ABAP structure. I take here ls underscore s flight. So now let's declare this structure. So we write here data ls flight type s flight, the database table. So next we check if the structure, if the key field of the structure is filled. So if ls s flight care ID is initial, and if this so, we raise an exception. So raise exception type CX rest resource exception. Exporting. And here we have two parameters to fill. Status code is CL rest status code. And here we can use a global constant, GC client error bad request. Next parameter is the request method. And this is in our case, GC method post. Okay, and if And so now we can check this code. So we click here on Postman. We send this to get the JSON response because we want to pass this JSON response in our post method. So we change this to post and we delete the URL parameters. And next we copy one JSON. Uh, response here from the get call and we pa paste it here in the body tab. Okay, so and then we go back to the code here, we click on now we want to we set an breakpoint. Okay, we have to activate the source first. Okay, and typo here. It's not meth us. It's methods. Activate. No, it's not. It's method. So add it again. Activate. Okay, now it should work. We set an breakpoint here. 
Then we go back to the postman and we click on the send button. Okay, so we have an CSRF token validation failed. So we go back to the get method to get a token. Okay, so I must set it right before. So I click here on header here, the, um, the name XCSRF token and here we type in a fetch. To get the token, so we click on send. And now in our response in the headers, we have a, a, to a token here. So let's copy this string, this token. change the call to post, delete the parameters again and now here we paste the token from the get call. So we click on send, we see the debugger starts and now we can check the data. We click on the structure LSS flight, double click and we click on the variable LV request body. So let's open the request body. We see here and chase a string. Looks good. So we go back and we click on the structure LS flight. And here we see the conversion from the JSON to the ABAP structure uh, works. So we go back to the, to the code. And now I want to um, give the JSON with which we call the post method. I want to give the JSON back as a response. So for this, I create a local object and local entity. And I write here MO response create entity. And then I set the content type with LO entity set content type if rest media type and here GC application JSON. Next I set the string data so we convert here the ABAP structure back to the JSON to a JSON string with the method slash UI2 slash CL JSON serialized. And we pass here our ABAP structure called ls underscore s flight. And last we set the status MO response set status cl rest status code and here again we use the global constant gc success okay then pretty print and activate then we remove the breakpoint and we click on send again in the um, postman Body is set, okay. So let's click on send and we see here, or we should see in the response if we click on the top body, the JSON response. So it's the same which we call with the post method. Okay, that works too. So let's do something with the data. Let's insert the data into the database table with the statement statement insert into s flight values ls s flight because the structure is the same like the database table so we can use this short statement and we check if the super c is uh, zero we the response is uh, okay and if we have an error we set the response to, we set the status to error forbidden. 
Okay, let's activate. And we go back to the JSON. And now let's uh, change the key field care ID to XX and change the con ID to one. And we click on send. We see we have a status code 200 and a response with the new care ID and the new con ID. So now let's check the database table as flight. So we open the transaction SE16, open the table as flight. And let's scroll down. And here we see the inserted record with our REST service. So if we uh, press on the button send again with the same key, we get then forbidden response and forbidden status because the entry with these keys uh, already exists in the table. So let's change the, for example, the con ID and let's send some requests and let's check the table again. So we go back and we set the care ID here to XX and here we see the inserted uh, records with our REST service by post call. So we can change your other fields to, for example, the price. Click on send, refresh this table view. And here again, we see the new entry with the new price. So that works pretty nice. And you can use this, for example, to insert or create SAP accounts from uh, another uh, identity provider, for example, and so on. Yeah. Okay. So if you like my videos, subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. I'm always happy to get a few likes. Also write something in the comments, whatever you want. I always like to read them and I also reply to them. Take care and see you in the next video.